and I'm going to be teaching you how to make a duck hunt in Scratch. Rowan isn't here, but it's okay because I'm here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do flying projectiles, how to kill those flying projectiles, how to kill those flying projectiles, and how to make some scrolling grass. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, now that we're in the project, let's rename the project to Duck Hunt. And let's redo the cat sprite. This is going to be our flying projectile. So, you can delete the cat sprite and instead make it a square. We're going to be using a square for now because I can do art. So, let's make a square. I got it to exactly 45 by 45 just now. So I'm gonna keep it like that. Now, let's do a one green flag click and go to block. We want to make sure that the block is not touching the edge because we will be making scripts saying if touching edge. So the farthest it can go is negative 213 and the highest Y can go is 153. Once we actually make the real projectile, you can change these values. But for now, we're going to make the values go to X, negative 210, and go to Y, pick random, 80 to 150. And now, when we click the green flag, it will always go somewhere between 80 and 150 for the Y. You can play around with these values and see how low you want them to go. I might want to make mine Y25 or Y30, and then that's pretty low. But you will have to take into account the scrolling grasp, so just keep that in mind. I'm going to make mine 30 to 150. Now, in the forever loop, we're going to do a wait, a pick random amount of seconds. So let's gonna do a wait, pick random, two to five seconds. Now, to make the projectile fly over the screen, we're going to make it a clone. And then we're gonna do a when I start as a clone, show. And when green flag clicked, hide. We don't want there to be two projectiles on the screen. Now, when I start as a clone, show. Forever, repeat until touching edge. This is why we did not put these values at something different, because otherwise they would be touching the edge and this script would not work. The edges include the top, the bottom, the right, and the left. And if we put them in the corner, it would be touching the edge. So, repeat until touching edge, change X by five. You can make them as fast as you want but I'm gonna keep mine at five for now. Now, let's see how this will work. So it shows up on the screen and it moves until it's touching the edge. And when it touches the edge, it just stops. We're gonna have it delete the clone eventually. But for some reason, it is not always picking a random spot. So instead of putting the random spot over here, we're gonna put it in the when I start as a clone. Now let's try it out. The first one is going to be right over here. And the second one is going to be either slightly above it or slightly below it. Looks like this one is below it, and that's how we know it is working. But we want it to delete itself when it touches the edge. So repeat until touching edge, change X by five. And after that, we want to delete this clone. Now, the clones should be d getting deleted after they touch the edge. So we basically just made a flying mechanism where the clones will fly over the screen and when they touch the edge, they will die. This is one of the most important parts in duck hunt because you're hunting ducks, which are flying. And ducks don't fly, but whatever. I don't know why developers named that game. After that, we're going to do a shooting mechanism. So for now, we're going to be just using our mouse to use the shooting mechanism instead of a cursor that you can see on screen. So, let's start making the script. Rename the sprite to 
projectile. I don't know why it was capped for so long. Now we can start the shooting mechanism. Go into the when I start as a clone. You see where it says repeat until touching edge. Change X by five. We're also going to add an ore block. Repeat until touching edge or mouse pointer. And now we're gonna change the X by five. Now, if it starts moving and we touch it with the mouse pointer, it'll delete itself. But we want to click it instead of just ta instead of just hovering over it. So, repeat until touching edge or touching mouse pointer and the mouse is down. Now, since we did this, it should be working like it's intended to. If I hover over it, nothing happens. But if I click it, it'll die. You can try it out on your own and it should be working for you. Now, we're going to make a point system. Now, we are going to make a point system. So, for the point system, we want to do an if statement. So, if touching mouse pointer and mouse down, then we have to make a new variable and make a score. So, when green flag clicked, set the score to zero right over here. And then change the score by one and then delete the clone. Now it should work. Okay, and it works. Now let's see what happens if it touches the edge. It does not change the score at all, which is good. Now, I'm just gonna make a background so I don't have to stare at this white screen. So, let's make a background. And now we are going to do some scrolling grass. First, let's make a grass. And we're just gonna make the grass a multiple big triangles for now. So, let's make a square. Click this tool right here. Double click on one of the corners. Then we're going to rotate this triangle and then we're just going to extend it. Well, now we have a blade of grass, and now we're just going to put that on the ground, and we are going to command, and then we're gonna copy and paste it over and over. Also, make sure to set it to zero, zero. Okay, once we have our blade of grass, let's put it on the ground. And we have to make sure that it fills up the whole screen. Once you have done that, duplicate this sprite. Now, we're going to make it go to... So, let's make a scrolling background. When green flag clicked, forever. Now, let's go into the code. When green flag clicked, forever, wait one second, and then create a clone of myself. Now, do a when I start as a clone, change X by minus 10. This is to make it look like the map is scrolling to the right. But if you want, you can make it scroll to the left by inputting a positive number. Repeat a random amount of times and then delete this clone. And this should work. So let's try it out. Uh oh, looks like it is not at the front layer. So. Let's make sure to set it to the front layer. Now, make sure to set it to go to X 500. And now, do in the repeat until 100. Now, it looks like it is scrolling continuously. Don't mind that barrier sprite that was there. I was just testing something else. So, now we have our scrolling background, we have our points, and we have our projectile which is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and you guys definitely use some scratch abilities.